We have huge breaking news from the Montreal Canadiens. Center Iceman Nick Suzuki has agreed to an eight-year extension. We'll discuss the contract coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some big breaking news from the Montreal Canadiens this morning. As reported by many NHL insiders, I first saw the information from uh, Sportsnet's Elliot Friedman indicating that the Habs and Suzuki were getting close to nailing down a long-term extension. And we now know the terms of the deal. It's an eight-year contract valued at $63 million. That gives him an average annual value of 7.875. Of course, he's in the final year now of his entry-level contract. And as I mentioned before, I really thought Montreal needed to get on top of this uh, for a variety of reasons. One, we saw the way the market was going. Another big year from him is going to cost them more money. So there's that, which was obviously smart. But obviously, if he goes into next offseason unsigned as an RFA, I kind of wondered if the uh, offer sheet shenanigans between Montreal and Carolina very much could continue. I mean, we've already seen uh, the Cock and the Emmy thing happen as basically revenge for the Sebastian Ajo offer sheet the year before. Uh, it's like a tit for tat type of situation. And then we heard rumors earlier that the Montreal Canadiens were, um, you know, talking to the league about Carolina's uh, lack of preseason games as a concern because they were theoretically violating rules. We later found out that the Canes actually had, um, you know, an agreement with the NHL uh, to only play four games. So, they're, you know, they weren't actually uh, violating anything because they did have an exception in place. But it just seems like these two teams are still, you know, somewhat enemies when it comes to this stuff. And I wondered if that could be an issue moving forward, especially where Nick Suzuki's brother Ryan is in the Carolina Hurricanes organization but we know now that will not be an issue and it's good for Suzuki it's good for Montreal like I said take away all the Carolina hurricane stuff it's just good to get him signed before he has another monster year and has uh, you know an even potential bigger payday here I mean Nick Suzuki has had back-to-back 41 point campaigns but of course we haven't seen a full 82 game campaign because of the pandemic. I mean, last year he put up 41 points in 56 games. That put him on about a 60 point pace. Uh, he was a key contributor in the playoffs. He really meshed well when Cole Caulfield joined the Habs. Those two could very well be a dynamic duo for many years to come. Um, so, I, you know, this is a, a very fair contract. He's playing top line minutes, uh, especially last year after Philip Deneau leaves. He's even more of the legitimate number one center at this point uh, with the Montreal Canadiens. And this is a pretty uh, team friendly contract. He's only going to grow more into this, only going to get better. He's not hit his ceiling yet. Like he's still kind of, you know, accelerating into that, which I think the next couple of years we're going to, see what his ceiling truly is and playing with Caulfield I think is going to be huge for him uh, so this buys up four unrestricted free agent years uh, he would have been eligible for that uh, at that point in time uh, and it also uh, gives him a partial no trade clause in the final four years which he would have been eligible for during those UFA years as well he gets a 10 team trade list so obviously uh you know blocking 10 teams is not huge but every little bit helps and gives the player a little bit of leverage when it comes to any potential trades here down the road. So this does make Nick Suzuki, as of next season, he will officially be the Montreal Canadiens' highest paid player. Uh, that is just a hair more than uh, Captain Shea Weber, who was a, on long-term injury reserve. Uh, at this point, rumors and reports indicate that there's a really good chance he will not play again. So going forward, he likely is the highest paid. And basically, he's making 7875 and I believe it's just the uh, the the opposite with Weber. Uh, it's just a hair less than that. It's just the numbers reverse seven point seven eight five or something like that. So it's like a hundred thousand dollars more than Weber's contract. Uh, and also too, I don't know if this is any kind of you know just to go back to the Montreal Carolina stuff. Uh, Andre Sveshnikov, the big RFA. Now we know he's done a center, but still pretty important player, big goal scorer for the Hurricanes. Uh, signed an eight-year deal at 7.75 and Suzuki gets 8.75. Are they trying to one-up them? I don't know. It's just these two teams seem, seem to be so connected with a lot of their decisions and uh, at, at this point, a lot of it is also getting kind of silly, a tad bit childish, if that indeed is connected at all, but still, it doesn't matter. Uh, both these players deserve those contracts and they're both going to be team-friendly deals in my opinion. 
here for the long haul. So this is a great contract for Montreal. They don't have to worry about the offer sheet going into next offseason. Uh, Nick Suzuki can uh, hopefully at the same time breathe a sigh of relief this is done. But hopefully he doesn't, you know, succumb to too much pressure from this contract here as well, because uh, he's, you know, signing this contract on the opening day of NHL season, and uh, we'll see what kind of big things he can bring to the Habs this year. He and Caulfield are going to be relied upon heavily for a lot of the offense, um, and we'll see what he can do. I mean, at this point, uh, he should be able to exceed 60 points and kind of still grow into this contract as it goes here. So let me know what your thoughts are on the Habs contract here for Nick Suzuki. Let me in the comments. We'll discuss further. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and stick around. We will keep you up to date with all the latest news, rumors, and analysis on all 32 NHL teams. There will be other videos coming today, so stay tuned for that as well. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time. Hello.